it's Dino, Digispin Crypto, and we are live tonight. So, we're changing our format. We're going to have a featured presentation. I'm only going to explain this this first video, and then afterwards, we're just going to just do it. So, we're going to have a featured presentation as we go along. And what I'm going to do is just get to the meat and potatoes in that feature presentation. It'll be about a particular topic that I've been asked about or something that I want to present uh, to you folks that I think has some value. And once the feature presentation is done, we will end that video and then start our after party uh, AMA, in other words, ask me anything and we'll chat and we'll go through all sorts of good stuff and do our crypto giveaway on the AMA after party, uh, which will come after uh, any live show that I do or presentation that I do. So uh, just a little bit of change in the format and uh, to make it a nice 20 minute segment and so that we can go along. Now. Uh, again, I'm only going to tell you this first time and then the process will just happen as we go along. So, let's get to the basics and let's get started. All right, so great to see you as always. Uh, got my uh, polar pop here, always exciting. Ooh. Put that off to the side. I hate that blue straw in the way. Let's put that on the ground. All right, so what we're going to do today is we're going to just talk about a couple of quick topics, uh, close it up for the show for tonight, and let's get started. Now, keep in mind. I am not a financial advisor. I'm just some guy in a straw hat mumbling at the YouTube screen. And uh, so hopefully there's some information that you can grasp from that. We're going to go through uh, some basic news. We'll talk about a particular topic f from each feature presentation show that we do. So let's get started with that. Today we're going to talk about um, those ETFs that came through. All of a sudden, uh, just about an hour or two ago, not so fast they're going to take a look at this now what it appears to be and you can take a look at this at the ico journal i put it out on my twitter account so if you uh, are connected with the, my twitter or my telegram page you would most likely have seen uh, the links for these but what it looks like the commissioners let their staff uh, do the evaluation and put together uh, an answer and apparently the commissioners were kind of surprised or taken back or uh, want to reevaluate the actual uh, results that were provided the the rejections of all those etfs so uh as they say here an unpre uh, unprecedented uh, strange reversal uh, the nine denials that were announced yesterday have been put on hold and via a stay. And basically, uh, the staff acts uh, to create a, a result, and uh, the commissioners may want to review the staff's action. And it'll happen now. So basically, uh, the commissioners are going to now reevaluate what the staff presented as a rejection. So that doesn't mean it's going to be overturned, but it does mean that uh, it's going to get a second look. So, uh, you know, stranger things happen and you never know. Uh, you know, I, I, I think that they're not liking the verbiage that's being presented of why they're being rejected. So, you know, hey, there's a second opportunity here and maybe, uh, just maybe, uh, there may be a reversal on this. Personally, if they're going to stay to that point that they presented, I can't see how any ETF was going to get uh, approved. And based on how they presented the rejection, uh, being that the, the market is unstable and there's no way to control uh, folks that uh, undermine it or manipulate it. So 
we'll see what happens. This is just, just an interesting twist that only happens in cryptocurrency. So it's pretty exciting to see something uh, like this happen. And the next thing I wanted to bring up here, another ICO journal. And this is going to bring us into my second part of this show, uh, the altcoin dominance. Let me uh, bring up something here real quick for myself. The altcoin dominance is basically uh, causing a dumpster fire. And the, uh, uh, the Bitcoin dominance is causing a dumpster fire in the altcoins. And, and I've told you folks many times, and you may want to take a look at this article, that Bitcoin dominance... Uh, will tell you the direction of altcoins, Electronium, Web Dollar included. So um, Web Dollar maybe not as much because they're not on an exchange yet. But once they're on an exchange, they're going to have the same. They're going to be manhandled, uh, <laughs> for lack of a better term. They're going to be manhandled by Bitcoin, just like all the other coins that are going on right now. So um, you know, and it's it's just saying you know the Bitcoin dominance. This is the key. It's the highest for this year. And uh, this is important to know. And it's important to understand. Now, uh, I'll put the, these links as we go forward into the show explaining why uh, or how to get to these uh, particular uh, articles. The, the next part I want to do is I've had many people ask me to explain why Bitcoin dominance should affect it. They are saying, hey, can you explain it a little bit better to me? I really don't understand, you know, price and dominance. What is that all about? So the second part of this feature presentation is uh, to just kind of go over what the Bitcoin dominance is and why it affects you and uh, so that you can understand it a little better. Now, granted, a lot of you folks probably understand it already, but uh, for those that don't, it's important to them and they should understand it. And it should be something that, that uh, everybody should be taking a look at at all times. Now, we take a look at, uh, you know, Bitcoin. We're, we're getting a little bit of rise out of it. This reversal news could be uh, giving it a little pump. Who knows? But the moral of the story is, is that we want to understand why all these coins go up and down all the time related to Bitcoin. And I brought up this chart many times in many shows. So I wanted to explain it a little bit more in detail what exactly this is showing. Again, you can go to CoinMarketCap. You'll go to the, the tools and you'll pick global charts. From there, you'll get the page and you can scroll down. You get your total market capitalization and you'll get your dominance. Now. As we all know and understand, this chart has nothing to do specifically to price. What's going on here is, is that you have a price of Bitcoin and you have a price of your favorite altcoin. All right. Those prices obviously will fluctuate based on how much uh, interest is is in the coin uh, how many people are trading it and so the prices can go up and down and everybody clearly follows the price of their favorite coins including Bitcoin and they always notice that if Bitcoin goes up so does uh, the the altcoin of their choice and that's because they're tied together because they're paired you have to buy your Bitcoin to get into your altcoins and uh, they're basically paired together so that kind of drags the coins around. The Bitcoin dominance, and this is why this is key, is let's say there's, uh, let's say the whole market is $100. We're going to use simple numbers and simple math, all right? So stick with me. Let's say it's $100. Now, it doesn't matter what the price is of Bitcoin is. And it doesn't matter what the price of your favorite altcoin is. If there's $100 in the total market, how many of those dollars have been put into Bitcoin and then the other percentage of the, of the dollars, what coins they've been put into? Now, 
Bitcoin market cap breaks it down to a couple of categories. They have their way down at the end there. You have your Bitcoin. Let's use the little mouse here. You have your Bitcoin over here. Your Ethereum. Bitcoin Cash, Litecoin, Ripple Dash, NEM, Monero, IOTA, NEO, and they categorize everybody else, all the other 1,500 coins in others. Because obviously the, the chart would be so mangled, you wouldn't be able to read it uh, if they put every coin out there. So, if we take any point in time, let's look at what's going on currently let's slide this up and I mouse over to our current day Monday August 20th so we're a little bit behind I don't, I don't know if I can get this the page over anymore apparently not let's uh, let's see if we can do this as a three month okay let's see if we can get a better alright here's the 23rd now Bitcoin is showing 53%. So if all the money that was in all of crypto was $100, 53 of those dollars, 53 $53.28 would be invested in Bitcoin. It doesn't matter what the price is. If, if a Bitcoin was a, a dollar, then it would be 53 Bitcoins out there. If it was 50 cents, it would be 106 Bitcoins out there. It doesn't matter. It just matters that there's $53.28 out of the $100 totally invested in, in the market is in Bitcoin. So that means more than half of all the crypto money right now is in Bitcoin. So this tells you how much is left over in the market. So obviously out of the 53.28, we take out uh, the difference. That's 46, what, uh, 46.72? 46.72 of the dollars that are left are split up between the rest of these coins. Out of that 43.72, you have, uh, you know, Ethereum, Bitcoin Cash takes... Ethereum is $13.32. Bitcoin Cash has $4.35. Litecoin, $1.56 out of the $100 total. That's, remember now, where I'm, I have to use simple math here. So we're saying that the whole market is worth 100 bucks so that we can look at this. So out of that 100 bucks, 1.5% of all the money is in Litecoin. Ripple has 6% or $6.10 of all that money. All right, so what does this mean and why should I care? So this breaks it down and you'll see they're able to chart a lot of these and then the others is this white line. The reason why you wanna care is if all the money is $100 and the Bitcoin dominance, in other words, it's gaining more of the money that's in the market. If I went back into July, it was only $42 out of the 100 that was in Bitcoin. The rest was in the altcoins. So for it to get from 42 to today of 53, an extra $10 or 10%, where did that money come from? Well, it doesn't matter what the total market is. Remember, we're, we're sticking it at 100 to make it simple. For it to be a 10% more, it had to steal it from the altcoins. Bitcoin can't, there's only $100. So for it to go from 42 to 53, it had to steal it from somebody. It had to steal it from the altcoins. Because it has to come up to $100. Because that's the number we're using as the total market. So therefore, when the Bitcoin dominance is going up, the only way it can go up is to steal money from the altcoins. This is the reason why Bitcoin dominance is important. 
And the reason why I wanted to explain it a, a lot more in detail and to break it down in this simple fashion so that you understand it has nothing to do with the price of the coins. It has to do with the total amount of dollars and what percentage of those dollars are in there. We're using $100 as a simple math calculation so that all the, the math comes out simple for us to look at. So as Bitcoin domination goes up and the dominance goes up, the amount of money in the altcoins has to go down. And that usually means that the people are selling them off. If they're selling them off, that means they're usually driving the price down because they're getting rid of them. And that's the reason why you see all these altcoins taking a bath right now. This is the reason why the ICO Journal has put out a nice article saying it's a dumpster fire. Basically because of Bitcoin dominance hitting new highs. All right, so let's go back to this. So we take a look at our year to date. And you can see since January here, you know, we had that a large pump here for dominance in April. It dropped down. But when it drops down, you saw the altcoins. The uh, Ethereum didn't really get a big bump. You had a little bit of a bump here for Ripple. But all others, the white line, which is important, that includes Electronium and others, you can see they got all the money. All of the prices of those altcoins went up because people wanted to buy, 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 buy. It drove the price of these altcoins up. There was more demand. Less demand for Bitcoin. More demand for alt. So as the money, it's still $100 in the market. We're using our, our fictional money. But the money transferred from here to other altcoins, driving the price up. So what has happened since the beginning of the year? People have taken the money out of these altcoins. That's what I always talk about. You hear that big sucking sound coming out. And that money is going somewhere because it's always got to be 100%. It's always 100%. Now, that number could be 100% of $2 trillion. It could be 100% of $200 billion. doesn't matter what it is. It's 100%. So as the money came out of these altcoins, they were shifting it back into Bitcoin because everybody wanted the safe haven. And so as they start doing that, so as, all, as you see this increasing, this Bitcoin dominance increasing, it can't increase unless they're taking it out of somebody else's backside. <laughs> Only way to explain it. Yeah, you, know, you can't put it in your left pocket unless you pull it out of your right pocket, okay? And therefore, sell, sell, sell. Prices take a dumpster dive. So this is one of the things that are causing the altcoins to take a, a bigger beating than Bitcoin, because Bitcoin is still sitting in that 6,000 and it's not going anywhere. It goes up and down a little bit. But the altcoins, everybody's like, what's going on? The old, my altcoins keep going down. It keeps going down. I don't understand. Why are my altcoins going down? Well, it's because somebody is selling them all, putting them where? They're putting it into Bitcoin as a safe haven. And it's just continuing. You had a big pump here, and you can see how it affected it right here. I mean, that, that major pump that day, it's because everybody sold off these altcoins. You can see this little niche right here, this little nook, and that's what caused it. And as of right now, you know, I saw this coming down. I'm like, all right, maybe we'll get a, a drop and we'll get a return to alts, but it just keeps going. And the fact of the matter is we're probably going to see this for weeks more. Um, but when it happens, keep in mind, when it goes the opposite direction, the pump for all coins is tremendous. And as you can see here, you had all this money stored up into Bitcoin. Where did all the money go? It went all here and it drove this price. All these altcoins flipped out 
and went crazy. And this is the big pump of 2018 in January for December. All right. And all of those, all that money came out of Bitcoin, went back into all coins. And you got that reversed reciprocal here. All right. So now as this starts to build up, all I can tell you is I'm securing as many altcoins as I can because when at, at good prices, because when this gets to a certain peak and I'm thinking it'll be similar, it could go higher. I mean, it could literally go back up to where it was here, but it hasn't been in that place in a while. So, and even when it was, it was still going downhill. So the maximum I could see it going to is right around there. If we were to follow that tra trajectory. So somewhere between here and there, it's going to change. And all coins are going to flip out. And the prices are going to go ballistic. Because all the money is going to come from Bitcoin back into all coins. Now, obviously, the more the Bitcoin is worth, the more of the altcoins they can buy and the faster they scoop them up. So Bitcoin at 6,000 would be a nice, clean, you know, drop and and, and, and continuation uh, of buying altcoins. But when the price goes ballistic, the, the drop off is dramatic because the Bitcoin is worth so much. They can snag so many the first in can buy those altcoins at the cheapest prices and then blah, 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 it just drops right down within a few weeks. All of, all of those gains for dominance is gone again. So that roller coaster ride's happening and you can see we're getting up, 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 the, up the ramp and it's going to hit a peak and we're all going to go flying. So that's Bitcoin dominance and a little bit more in detail why it's important, how it works why you need to keep an eye on it because it's going to tell you what direction the money is going is it going into bitcoin making the altcoins cheaper is it coming out of bitcoin which is going to pump the altcoins in that general direction so keep in mind we're going to have our after party uh, I'm going to close up this particular show we're going to have the after party it's going to take me about five minutes to set up I'll activate it. It'll be our second live show in the after party. We're going to have our crypto giveaway. I'm going to do just chatting. We're going to just goof off on the computer and um, have a little bit of fun. So I'll see you guys in the after party. And thanks for watching Digit Spin Crypto.